Steve has. If you were to make up a nickname for yourself, what would it be? Would you rather live in a world of Legos or a world of cartoons? Would you rather be invisible or be able to fly? What's the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? If you discovered a new island, what would be the first rule? What's the first thing you do in the morning? What are your hidden talents? What's the best gift you have ever gotten? If you were an emoji, what one would it be? Would you rather have a pet dragon or a pet unicorn? If you had a robot to help you with school, but it could only do one task, what would it do? What do you think makes someone a good friend? If you were a superhero, what would be your superpower? Which cartoon character do you wish were real? If it was raining meatballs, would you eat them? Ahem. <clears throat> What's going on here? Get out of here, pups. We have an SEL lesson to teach. Come on, Mom. We're just trying to make new friends by starting a conversation and asking questions. Wow, Chewy, what a great idea. You're right. Asking questions is a great way to build a relationship. That is actually what we're going to talk about today. Building healthy relationships. A relationship is a connection between two people. It is the way in which two people feel and behave towards each other. For our lesson, we will explore ways we can behave to help build healthy relationships with the people in our life. We have many relationships in our life. We have connections or relationships with the people in our family, in our classroom, on our bus, in our neighborhoods, and much more. Today, we will learn ways that can help us build and keep relationships with people. It is important to remember that we need to work on building relationships with people who share our views, but also with people who are very different than us. We need to have healthy and positive relationships, even with people who have very different views or very different ways of doing things. So if you're trying to build a new relationship, what can you do? Well, you can start by communicating clearly and listening actively. You can even start with some of the icebreakers and silly questions from the beginning of our video. You might find out you have something in common with the person you're talking to, or maybe you will have different views. Some other ways to build a relationship are to work together to solve a problem, ask for help, and to offer to help. So get the conversation going. You won't be able to build a new relationship until you start talking and getting to know each other. Whether a person is in our family, on our team, or is a new friend, relationship skills will help us build and keep healthy relationships. We must use these relationship skills to help us build and keep healthy relationships in the future and throughout our lifetime. Oh, and to answer your question, if it were raining meatballs, would I eat them? Absolutely I would. Now it's your turn. Play the Get to Know You board game posted on Google Classroom to practice asking questions and having a conversation. Then fill out the Google form to let us know that you 